Hey guys, Woody here, and welcome back to another uh, video with a Champ Man 0102 Legend remade in FM23. And yes, today it is the Egyptian defender, Ibrahim Saeed. Before we get into this, if you're enjoying this type of content or you know you like Let's Play, Go and check out my Oldham save. Uh, get subscribed to the channel so you know when more videos come out. Don't forget to hit a like on this one as well. It just pushes the video out to more people. Don't forget as well, chuck a comment down there. Who else would you like to see from CMO102 who was a wonder kid in that game? Probably didn't quite make it in real life as they did in that game. Uh, and remake them in uh, FM23. Right, Ibrahim Saeed. Let's have a look at him in CMO102. Uh, as you can see here, he is, uh, I mean, what an, he, like it just, you sign him and play him as a defensive midfielder defender. He's absolutely amazing with our stats and that. The, um, the natural fitness and the stamina on him are amazing. But let's go see how he looks in, uh, in FM23 at the start of his career. So here he is, Ibrahim Saeed. He is Al Ali and uh, he is 16 years old. He's a promising centre-back. It's already worth, um, you know, upwards of 10 million, 55 pound a week he's on. He is obviously um, uh, natural in that DM or that DMC role. As you can see here, that natural fitness 17. The physicals are off the charts. His aggression, his bravery, his determination. A lot of flair for a defender there. Penalty taking of 17. He's a very good penalty taker in there. CMO 102 and the tackling of 16. Technicals have been on the low side, but, you know, his heading will go up. He's 185. That'll go up as well. Um, other than that, you know, he's marking, positioning, a bit low, but I'm sure he will progress very, very nicely. So first up, let's go five years in the future and see how Ibrahim Saeed looks at 21. And here he is, Ibrahim Saeed, age 21, and he is at PSG, and wow, he has had an absolutely monumental growth spurt, shall we say. He's grown five centimeters, and his stats are through the roof. Uh, he's an elite centre-back. He's on 325 per week. He's not for sale. Um, look at these physicals all in the green. His lowest is his strength at 16. Jumping reach of 19. Natural fitness of 19. And the mentals as well. His mentals before when we started were like determination and flair were high. The rest of them have just gone through the roof. Now, remember that positioning was 8. That heading was also 8. Marking, I think, was also 8 or 7. So they have gone absolutely crazy there. Penalty taking, tackling technique. He is an absolutely amazing player. Where has he been playing? He's been playing in both the defensive midfielder role and there, and also filling in at right back as well. Occasionally, he's now accomplished. Obviously, he's very strong on both feet. He's uh, got a oops. He's got a few less um, goals than I would have thought with a penalty taking of uh, seventeen. But let's go and have a look what happens. So he plays two years in Egypt, or two and a half ish. Then he moves to Ligue 1, PSG paying 5 million for him. I thought he would have scored more goals in Egypt here, but straight away comes in as an okay sort of start, and then obviously starts coming a regular starter at PSG and um, being absolutely amazing. Milestones-wise, um, uh, Orange, Conk, um, CAF, Confederation Cup winners, first international cap 17, under 23, Cup of Nations winner, Egypt seasonal at best 11, he's going to have a lot of them, bought by PSG for 1.9, obviously raising to 5, African Young Footballer of the Year in 2024, he also wins it in 2025, nice, um, where were we, yep, next gen, he's the next gen winner, as you would expect, he's amazing, 19 years old, he cleans up that awards, so that's nice there, um, yep, he wins League on obviously. Um, Trophy de Champions, African Young Footballer of the Year. He wins that for two years in a row as well. Um, did we? Oh, yeah, he already won that. That was the second one, obviously, yeah. Um, PSG, best 11, another uh, Uber Eats champion. Then finally gets his first international, international cap against Portugal, age 20. Another Trophy de Champions winner. FIFA Under-21's Men's Player Runner-Up. Um, there it is. Loses out to, whoops, Gavi there, who, yeah, okay, sure. Um, yep, 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 couple of league and he's going to rack up a few of them. UEFA Champions League Defender of the Season, third place. That's not bad behind uh, Alexander-Arnold and uh, Pavard. Uh, better average rating, though, so you think you probably should have got that there. We didn't check on Egypt what they were. They're ranked 26th at the moment. 
Um, I just might check what they were ranked beforehand. Right, so they were rank, ranked 34th. Um, so uh, eight jumps. Eight jumps? 26th, so yeah, nice little jump there. Ibrahim Said is the captain and their key player as well. How have they gone? Uh, he made his first cap uh, not that long ago. It was against Portugal in this game here. Did he score in his first game? Didn't say that. We didn't even get his um, first goal, did we? He made his first international goal. Oh, okay. Yep. It was <laughs> first international cap was against Libya. I got confused there for a second. So he has played a fair few. What have they done um, since he made his debut? So it was against Libya. That is this game in the friendly African nations qualify group E uh, or cup qualifiers, Seychelles, cup of uh, African nations. They do not do very well going out in the second round. Uh, more qualifiers there, African Nations, second round again, surely they should be doing better, some more World Cup qualifiers, they do make the World Cup, Portugal they beat, and Japan, and then lose to Colombia, that's gutting, uh, more African Cup of Nations qualifiers there as well, and they have now got the African Nations to go here as well with Morocco, Libya, and South Africa, but let's go check him out, another five years in the future. All right, so here we are, Ibrahim Saeed at age 26 and four. He is absolutely incredible. Still at PSG, uh, just under on half a million a week. Uh, he's played over 250 games for him. Plays short, simple passes, plays no through balls, knocks ball past opponent, stays back at all times, refrains from taking long shots. Uh, he's got long shots of 10. As you can see, physicals have improved nicely. A couple here as well. Those mentals as well as well. So he's looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, still being flicked between the DM role and the defender role. Seems to play better in the defender role. Uh, but yeah, he looks really, really incredible. A hundred caps for Egypt already at age 26. A hundred caps. That is incredible. That is, he's playing about 10 games a year for Egypt. So that is really impressive. Um, oh, we should check his career stats. So he was there with PSG. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six years in the future? Maybe we haven't. No, this was the fifth one here. One, two, three, four, five. I would have assumed he would have got a few more goals. He's getting a lot of assists, though, from centre-back, which is interesting. Maybe that's when he plays in that DM role. But with, with his high penalty taking, you'd think he's on penalties. Although maybe Mbappe there. But anyway, let's go and have a look, see what happens. Um... God, I can't even remember what it was. 2026, was it? Or seven? Uh, yeah, FIFA under 21's best player. Uh, best African player. I think he's going to get a few of them. UEFA Super Cup winners. Does he Does he, Does he? he win a Champions League? We know he's going to win the league uh, in the Coupe de France and the Trophies to Champions. Champions League young player of the season. Killing it. Um, I don't think I've missed anything here. African best player runner-up. That's the Uber Eats. Most assists of the competition. Must have been his 13 assist season. Um, yes, it was 13 assists there for him. So no... Um, well, how did they get a UA for Super Cup? Oh, they did win the Champions League. Yes, they did win the Champions League. So, I mean, League on as you can see, they're just racking that up. He does get a Champions League trophy as well. Um, no Ballon d'Or. I wouldn't expect him to get that, obviously, being a defender. Um, he's probably going to struggle with that. They never really do too well. They are up to 16. So, Ibrahim Saeed, captain, still key, key player. Gustavo Poit is manager. But 16th is another good jump of 8. No, 10 this time. So, hopefully, they've done something pretty, pretty special. Uh, so, it's 2027. They have the African... Oh, they lost to Senegal, and then they came third in that. So, that would have helped their boosting there um more african nations qualifiers world cup qualifiers african nations they get to the quarterfinal and lose to cape verde of all teams <sighs> wow um 2030 world cup group p beat scotland and iran and then tunisia and lose to germany that's gutting um but the regulars in the world cup african nations quarterfinal again penalties to nigeria no luck in the african nations um, they, they do seem to be uh, missing out on that a fair, fair bit, but they are making regular World Cups, which is really, really good. So, Ibrahim Saeed, let's go and check him out at 31. And here we are, Ibrahim Saeed, he's age 31, he is still at PSG. 
um, is obviously still an excellent defender. We can now highlight his stats here. Have a look at this for that ball playing defender. Oh, I mean, his first touch passing still 13. They're pretty good. The natural fitness of 19, determination of 20. It's an absolute machine. How does he go with this ball winning midfielder? Pretty, pretty good as well. 131 caps for the national team, 14 goals. You think he would get more without penalty taking? He's got a little bit of a pay rise as well. I have noticed he retired from international football two years ago. He retired at 29. That's ridiculous. What are you doing, Ibrahim Saeed? You could make like 200 caps for Egypt. We'll go and check on that. He's got 388 appearances for Paris Saint-Germain. Um, but uh, this is where we left you here. Once again, very, very impressive season. Playing a fair few lot of games for uh, PSG. No goals in the last two seasons, which is first time since his first season in, in, in Paris. But that total average rating is very impressive. Constant amount of assists as well. Um, you know, five there as well. So looking really, really good milestones-wise. Let's go on back and have a look at 2032. Um, yep, more. Yep. Oh, I panicked then and saw World Cup winners, but it was the FIFA Club World Cup PSG won that. So, all right, calm down. Just Uber Eats, just Uber eating it up. Coupe de France, de Champions. I mean, best African player, he's, he's probably cleaned that up a fair few times, hasn't he? Not as much. I mean, we've got Hakimi winning a fair few. So, I guess there's a strong African contingent in uh, League 1 there. And so, he is obviously, um, you know, up against some really good players. Uh, third place there, obviously, yep, yeah, Coupe de France, Uber Eats, another Champions League win uh, for him, another Super Cup, Trophies of Champions, um, third place, Champions League Player of the Season, Defender of the Season as well, nice, he got that two years in a row, looking really, really good there as well, Champions League Player of the Season and Defender of the Season, that's pretty impressive. We got the Champions League Player of the Season two years in a row and Defender two years in a row as well. Really, really impressive. But Ligue 1 has just been dominated by PSG. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Coupe de France, I think they've lost it a couple of times. And once to Lyon, oh my god. And Nice, Rennes. Oh, there's a couple here where they didn't quite win it. Actually, it's quite a few. They didn't win one until 2028 and then have only lost one there. But two Champions League trophies as well, two in a row, uh, and oh, three, he's actually got three Champions League medals, so looking good, let's see how Egypt have fared, he had retired, they were 16th, they're up to 12th now, so he has done a good job, but he did retire uh, two years ago, which was 2035, so let's go back to, um, yeah, we saw that one, then there was another African Nations that lost the final, they just can't get over the line in the um, African Cup of Nations. Disappointing losing to Nigeria there. They make the World Cup. They go out in the second round of Spain. And then they go out in the quarterfinal here. And I reckon he is probably retired. Yeah, he would have retired about then. So he's gone from the national team, which is a, is a bit of a shock. Um, is he their most capped player? Um... Oh, Ahmed Farid, 99 goals. This guy's pretty good. Um, where's most caps? No, Ahmed has seen 184. I reckon, I reckon Saidi could have got that. I've just started calling him Saidi. Uh, I reckon Ibrahim Saeed could have got that easily. Another 50 caps. He retired two years ago. Anyway, let's go and have a look at him at age 36 and uh, possibly the last jump in his, um, or oh, yeah, about to retire. Let's go check him out. Now, we should have jumped uh, 2042. We should have jumped to 2042. Yeah, uh, eight, nine, nine, yeah, about there. But uh, Ibrahim say just didn't look like he was going to retire. So I kept going season after season. We finally got here in 2046, um, which is an extra nine years since we left you. And Ibrahim Saeed is, a, uh, is still a player. He's 40 years old, and uh, he's actually about to retire. And, I mean, he still looks pretty damn good. His physicals have declined, but that natural fitness of 20 has really served him well. His mentals are off the charts still. Uh, he has had a pretty, pretty good career. Um, yeah, it's, uh, 
It was, it was a nine year jump, but I just want to see how far he was going to go. But that natural fitness obviously making a huge, huge difference there. Um, his career stats, uh, we left you here. Um, I mean, he's still playing regularly for PSG. Weirdly got put down to the B team, but still 29 goals in games in the league. No goals, though. Uh, a couple of times there, but that average rating, 7.31 overall. Uh, 600 odd games, 650 odd games for PSG. 94 assists, that's disappointing, and 37 goals. So what an outstanding career. He must be up there for PSG. Uh, most appearances by a player. Yeah, most league appearances, 650. 650, that's absolutely incredible. Kylian Mbappe, how many does he have? Uh, he's actually, uh, he is he retired. I mean, I could work that out, but that seems... Oh, he, he, he didn't even make 600. So uh, that is incredible. 650 appearances for... Um, PSG, right, let's go have a look at his milestones. So it was about 2037, was it? No, yeah, about there. So best African player, Champions League defender of the season again, more Coupe de France, more Uber Eats League, and, uh, more Champions League defender of the seasons. He's picked this up a few times. Here it is there. There's a couple more here. Uh, looking really, really good there. The champ, uh, champion. Oh, we've scrolled up too far now. Oh my god! Um, does he win the Champions League anymore? And can we see any huge, huge awards? Probably not going to win a Ballon d'Or here. Another Club World Cup. I mean, just league uh, trophies through the roof. They actually lost one last year and in 2037 to Lyon. Missed out on that, but I don't think they ever got another uh, Champions League um, win. If I can find the Champions League, it would be a better way of doing that, but not... Brest won it. Wow. Uh, but yeah, since that double they won there, he has not won that since. And they lost the final to Newcastle. What? Brest must have a pretty, pretty good team. Uh, Ibrahim Saeed, Egypt, we'll just check them out. Well, they've dropped down to 17th. Uh, did they win anything when he wasn't there? That'd be a bit disappointing if they did. A quick flick through here. Uh, no, they lost third place African Nations. Uh, won the third place playoff there. Uh, quarter final. Not making any more World Cups, although they are getting bundled out in the second round. Uh, second round lost to Ivory Coast, so... Oh, they do. They win the final. They finally win it in 2045, beating the Gambia. Ugh. I mean, he probably shouldn't have retired, Ibrahim. Probably shouldn't have retired. I mean, he could have still played. It probably prolonged his club career quite a bit, but I'd definitely say this is a success. 650 games for PSG, 131 caps for Egypt. Surprised he did say PSG's whole, whole career, though, but it is... Uh, oh, he's got some staff tributes. Always like to check them out. Uh, maybe, uh, I, I don't know what he is. He's a manager, apparently. Um, but yeah, looking really, really good, Ibrahim Saeed. So we're going to wrap it up there, finally, after this super-duper long career uh, of uh, 24 years, actually, to be precise. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if you watch all this way and you're not yet subscribed, if you could, it would mean a lot. Smash a like and let me know down in the comments who else you want to see from Chairman 0102. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.